Yo, what's good? YouTube, Jay Flager here, and if you guys didn't know, the 2021 trade deadline has just ended, and I thought it'd be a good idea to make a winners and losers video. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, the winners and losers of the 2021 trade deadline. Alright, so the first winner we have is the Orlando Magic, and some of you guys might be surprised because, yes, they did get rid of Aaron Gordon and Vucevic, but this rebuild will be great for them in the future because they're picking up some great young talent, and Wendell Carr, Otto Porter Jr., RJ Hampton, and Gary Harris. The Magic also got the 2021 first-round pick, the 2023 first-round pick, and the 2025 first-round pick. And in five years, the Magic will be great. Mark my words, they'll be great. And they're most likely getting the first pick of the 2021 draft. So to the five Magic fans out there, be happy for the future because you, the rebuild will be successful. You're going to link up some great young players with Jonathan Isaac. And it's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun team to watch. Rockets fans, I sincerely feel really bad for you guys. I mean, dude, I'd be mad too if my fucking team traded Victor Oladipo for Avery Bradley, Kelly Olynyk, and a first-round pick. I'm really sorry to you guys, man. I, I want to issue an apology to every Rockets fan. Um, it's your time to jump to a new, a new team. You know, maybe go to the Lakers, go to the Clippers, Nets. Every Rockets fan out there, the rebuild isn't going good. I mean, you guys fucking traded Victor Oladipo, your best player for Avery Bradley, Kenny, Kelly Olynyk, and a pick that... May not even be good, so I don't know what the GM is doing. Uh, your team's not going to be good. So yeah, like, get out of the Rockets fan. I don't have to say, dude. The Blazers absolutely robbed the Raptors, and I'm telling you right now, Norman Powell was an insane player for the Blazers again, and then it's going to really help them in the playoffs. And in my opinion, the Blazers right now have the best three-guard lineup with Powell, Lillard, and McCollum. They're going to do a lot of damage in the playoffs. I think Powell's an insanely great player from the get. Powell's been shooting really good this season, and his defense is great, too. All around, I think, dude. Absolute robbery from the Raptors. And if I was a Blazers fan, I'd be really excited for the future of that three-guard lineup because Norman Powell has a lot of upside, and he will bring a lot to the future of the Blazers. The Los Angeles Lakers. You know, they should have got Kyle Lowry. I... If I was Lakers, I'd be pissed because, dude, they got no one in the trade deadline. They desperately needed to get someone, and they didn't. And, I mean, they could still buy someone on the buyout market, but it's just not the same because they should have got Kyle Lowry, man. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, so Lakers lose this trade deadline. It doesn't look too great for the Lakers right now with a team riddled with injuries, but, you know, they could get someone on the buyout market, so I wouldn't be too mad if I was a Lakers fan, but still, Kyle Lowry would have been a great addition to the team. Denver Nuggets fans, you guys should be excited about this one because not only did you get a very good power forward from the Orlando Magic named Aaron Gordon, but you also got a good veteran center to come off the bench, JaVale McGee, but, and I say but because you guys did give up Gary Harris and RJ Hampton and a first rounder, but I really think the assets that they got are great and I think it will improve their team furthermore going to the playoffs. Getting Aaron Gordon was a really good move from the Nuggets because he brings a lot of defense. He brings good rebounding, athleticism, and he's not too bad of a shooter either. And also, JaVale McGee is a great veteran center to have the bench. Great piece. Like, any team could use him. Now, do I think that the Nuggets give up a lot? No shit, but I think they made the right decision going forward, and I think Aaron Gordon will really help them in the future. Now, if you ask me who lost the most during this trade deadline, I would 100% tell you that the Raptors lost the most. This GM was probably of a perk because there's no other explanation for trading Norman Powell for Gary Trent Jr. and Rodney Hood. And that's not even the worst thing because he also didn't trade Lowry, who's going to leave at the end of the season. I'm not going to get anything for him. So, I mean, and pretty much if he leaves, it's going to be a disaster for the Raptors. So, they didn't trade him, and they traded Norman Powell for Gary Trent Jr. and Rodney Hood. So... Raptors, you fucked up. You took a L. Ladies and gentlemen, the last winner of this video, even though there are a lot more winners, I just couldn't get to them um, in this video because I was kind of on borrowed time, but the last W of this video is the Clippers, and I'll tell you why right now. So, the Clippers pretty much traded Lou Will in the second round pick for Rondo, and most of you guys will say, oh, Lou Will, you know, he's a bucket. Rondo, you know, he was good on the Lakers, but I don't see why that's good. I'll tell you right now, Rondo brings more to the table than Lou Will does for the Clippers. And I think Rondo is a really good fit with Kawhi in PG-13. He fills that void of being able to run the offense, and he can defend. He's a really good defender. Lou Will, a great, a great player, but I just don't think 
he brings as much to the table for the Clippers right now as Rondo does. So I got for you guys today. Appreciate everyone for checking out the video. Hopefully your guys' team made a good decision. <clears throat> Not like the Rockets, but that being said, appreciate everyone for watching the video and I'm out. Peace. I used to be 14 in the crib, trying to be a trap nigga. Now I got me some floor seeds at the game, trying to go bad nigga. Got me feeling like Spike Lee on the wood, smoking on pad nigga. Drunk texting my wifey, so I know I'll get a text bad nigga. 45 on my white tee, used to have the shit up on the dash nigga. Got a lot on my psyche, on my mind, I ain't talking ass nigga.